Biosphere users, I wanted to just give you a quick demo on the new features that we're implementing. If you're interested, if you have a Biostar NOS and you're interested in uh, running the beta, we've gotten it to a pretty stable point. I'd like to show some of the features that we've been uh, working on. So one of the things that we're working on is really uh, behind, mostly behind the scenes. We have um, a database condenser. And you shouldn't use this button, at least for now, it's, it's not something that you need to do. We've completely redesigned the, the database. One of the things that you'll notice is going to be uh, a regeneration of our thumbnails. One of the reasons why the database was getting so uh, big was because we kept on generating thumbnails for, for every client and for every meta therapy. So we clean that up and we generate the thumbnails um, just for the session. And so you'll kind of see that generating. We're going to hide that screen so it's not so um, popping up all the time. But this is going to be basically the new layout. As I, as I talked, out, uh, talked about before, we may make some slight changes here and there. Uh, but <clears throat> I wanted to familiarize uh, yourself with some, some new items. So uh, let's start with the scan mode. So when you get into scan mode, uh, what you're going to notice is, uh, and, and I'm thinking of changing the, the way the button looks like, but for the most part, what I want you to notice is that you have your um, meta button and you have your traditional scan button. So with your traditional scan button, you can just run scan as you want. And this button is really designed for in-between sessions when you're not really going to do analysis. You can um, just do meta therapy. 5x. Now, the, the easy way to do it is if you're going to uh, work on something like the heart, okay, and uh, or if you want to just to grab, um, you know, a certain number of items. So you can you can uh, uncheck everything, right? You can go to pre-select and uh, uncheck everything. And then what you can do is you can, you can now you can highlight stuff. So say you like that and you like this. Now you hold the control key and you can add some other stuff. Then you can say check selected, All right? So it's a little bit easier. You could just navigate and say, I like, I want to do all the lungs. And then you can just say check selected. So you don't have to go click check, check, check. You can now just kind of scroll and do the things that you like, All right? So that's, so that's a little bit faster. The other thing is, so if you want to, in between sessions, you can just click. You don't have to do a start scan here. You could just click on Meta 1X. You could do a 5X. I'm going to do 5X for now uh, just because I, I want you to see you could just go straight to, to doing your metas from here. So it's going to do your scan, and it's going to jump to your meta therapy right away. So let that run a little bit. Uh, so we've we've put a lot of under the under the hood things. You're not going to see a lot of the improvements we made. We completely redesigned it. Um, we're really close to fully working Windows 10 version. All the versions before this are not really 100% Windows 10 version. Um, and there's a lot of security issues, and you kind of like uh, had to redo a lot of things in the base code. So um, and I can show you later on, you know what what we deal with when, when we're working with our base code. But um, so, so far, so far, so good. Everything is uh, converted over nicely to the new uh, standard. So eventually what we'll do is I'm going to let this one run, let it do its 5X. And we'll get this color back in so it's easier to see the 1X. I saw one before, but it's just like a pale yellow. So let's pause here. Let's exit. Okay, so that should stop the whole process. So you, uh, obviously from here, we already did our scan. We could do our other things. Um, you know, a lot of people don't really use these groupings here and would have a later lesson on that. What we're going to eventually do is change all of these to MREs. And we're going to get automatic choice to start working. So that's that's our next one of our next features here. <clears throat> so... And, and again, we've been really looking at stability and so forth. So now you're going to notice that you have your date and time here kind of condensed. Um, your thumbs are going to now be on, on this column here, so they're auto-generated. And that really creates a lot of stability. Now, you're, you're, not really, you're not really doing 
um, your compare, you know, your percentage. And we'll talk about energy here. You know, energy is a new, a new item where we, we add up all the things that have low energy. And we're going to start to create a new graph in regards to, to energy. So we have a new button here that's called Purge Meta. And a lot of times we have all these metas. And you, you can see me all the time clearing this out because once you do meta and you kind of record what uh, the problem is, then we, we don't need them anymore. So if you click on Purge Meta, that's going to delete all of your meta. So you don't need it. So you really, it really cleans things up. So that's a really nice feature that I like. The other feature that people were asking for is that, you know, they always kind of forget what's going on. Um, they always kind of forget what's going on with, with these graphs, right? What, what's this color mean? Like, what is this red line over blue line here on 5.8? And what does all this mean? Well, we have a new button here, and I'd like to get some of your feedback. Now I've included the chart, so it's really easy for you to uh, to to work on this. And the the nice thing about the nice thing about this is that you have your graph right in front of you. You don't have to work, you know open your desktop or, or switch to the to the desktop, and you can see that your um, problem here you have you have a problem here on five point eight. Well, if you go to five point eight here, you have a new column here called NLS five point eight. And then you can see, you know, this resource maintenance and storage, uh, neurotransmitters, and NLS is closest to sound. And then you can start to um, go over to, to the light part of the frequency harmonic. And so you could see that it's about um, emotions, expression. And if you keep going, you're going to see it's related to chakra five. And if you go to chakra five, you see that it's a spiral. You know, these, we'll talk about this in the later lessons, but this is the um, next step. When this gets affected, the next thing that's going to get affected is um, chakra two. And if you can see chakra two is our oranges, we can go back down to 3.4. So lo and behold, if you look, now you have what gets affected. You can actually see why you have this dip here and why you have this here. So this is not random. This is all, this is all you know, uh, designed by nature. Um, and so this is, this is kind of like how you would, you would see things. So that's, you know, a nice example. So the other thing is we have here called analytics. Now we're going to redesign analytics, but for the most part, we're going to, um, start to work on this area here because a lot of people have trouble, um, doing analysis. And, um, what we're trying to do is create a process where it will scan for information and it will help, and it would automatically uh, start to determine um, the the problems with this particular individual. So we have a we have a basically um, a hunter for the CSSs or things that you should be paying attention to. And so we're refining this process, but for the most part, it's it's complete, and it'll eventually generate for you um, a nice little report. Um, that you can go with, uh, like here's like laryngitis, um, rhinitis, and so forth. So, so, so you can you can go through this, and there's a filtering process. So this is going to get cleaned up. But again, this is like a beta version, and you'll see how it's going to make your scanning uh, easier. It's going to also help with the dietary reports, etc. So uh, once you you know once you get to that, then you can you know start looking at your reports and. Um, start looking at it that way. And this one's kind of picking out um, the motions for that uh, particular individual. Um, and, you know, it starts to, to put some, some um, reports together, right? And we'll, we'll look at that. But so this is, this is where things are going. So the, the thing that we found here are the emotional. So it's an emotional aspect and it pulls out those emotions for you, right? That's that's a nice one. So you don't. So it will do that for the whole report. I'm just showing you this as a demo. The other thing is that say you you know it's kind of identified an area in which you want to to work on. You can also then go into the Q cup, or I'm sorry, the spec transfer. Now spec transfer, like I said, um, you have the ability now to go beyond the the twelve process. You know the the repeat, the standard repeat, 
you can uh, go up to 999, which is uh, the max, what it maxes out at. Um, you can, if they're going to put their hand on the cup or if you're going to broadcast to them, um, we can do a much larger output and in, uh, intensity. And then that process will do something like what the queue does is like a broadcasting and, and it'll work on um, sending in, you know, proper signals. Um, if you want to invert that signal and send an inverted signal, you, you'll do that, right? Because right here we have their current signal and we'll invert it to give them to basically cancel out or harmonize that particular area. So you could leave that, you could leave this running. Typically, um, I will just time it for about two minutes and then I will go to, to the next section. You could do a much more, um, much more types of therapy for your clients. We have some, uh, we have, we're introducing Q levels. So if you wanted to see um, what the, uh, the Q levels come up, you can see that in the beginning, we saw that it was um, level nine. Um, you know, we saw it at 5.9, chakra five. Uh, so you can see that kind of is still a problem inside that person. So that shows up. So we're introducing Q levels in the NLS. Um, we have, um, we have a, a little bit more of other things. So you could do spec transfers of aromatherapy. I have a little problem with the, the buttons here because of my recording program. Uh, it wants me to do annotations, but let's, let's move this up here. Yeah. So get rid of Q levels. Uh, you have some things around aromatherapy. Um, we have some more uh, things that we've pulled out, some no nodes that we pulled out that have been pretty effective. Um, detoxification and now these are all really just designed for no sodes and and this no node here is kind of to tell you what's going on why they need a detox right so uh, toxic metals uh, depression again these kind of two come up you can do a digital analysis here parasites bacteria so it's a little bit more helpful um, using these things and again we're gonna re we're gonna um, create brand new uh, training videos based on the databases and so forth. And so um, to kind of go through all of these things, um, so you can see here, we again, we have repetition of second chakra and fifth chakra. You know, so all, a lot of that matches here. So uh, I just wanted to give you that. There's a, there's a couple of other things that are there, but they're somewhat of a, a work in progress. Um, for example, if we go into our picture report, let's go to our picture report really fast. We have a new type of report that I can show you. This basically shows you your energy levels, right? So a little bit easier. Um, it prints out a nice report on uh, things with the lowest amount of energy. So it has an energy report. And for the most part, it's a, it's a good report to start out with because you can annotate um, the reports that you have here for your clients, right? So that's, um, that's another nice new report that we've added. And then uh, we're working on this preview button here, which you've had access before. We want to add um, the graph here, but you can also right click, do your preview and get um, a nice record of your CODs and what those levels are at. So if you're interested in, in doing the beta, um, you can't go backwards. Uh, you, you can only really go forward. So I want to just caution anybody who's using this, um, who, who wants to go forward, they'll, they'll get kind of like an update once a month at a minimum. And that can help you with questions with some of your clients. So if you're interested in, in the beta, let me know there's going to be, um, we have a new help desk portal that we're working on, uh, to submit requests to us. So we're going to move, we're going to move some of the support requests to a different portal and then training requests. We're going to keep that in there. So I don't want to take too much more time. Uh, thank you for watching this. I'm going to try to do a little bit more video updates. Uh, so it's not so, um, so it's a little bit more entertaining for you guys to watch. All right. Take care.